This is today's TMJ4, live at 5. Right now at 5, a police officer and a woman walking by on the sidewalk are among the four people injured in this crash last night in West Allis. That crash happened at 91st and National. It's now being blamed on an alleged drunk driver. That's where we find Lauren Winfrey. She spoke with witnesses who jumped into action to help. Lauren? Tom and Katie, imagine having a great time at the State Fair and then on your way home witnessing a horrific accident. Well, that's exactly what a mom and her son experienced, and they both say they're just happy everyone made it out alive. A truck rolled over on its roof on a sidewalk in the city of West Dallas. It's the aftermath of a Saturday night crash involving a squad car. And I didn't know what to do because we heard crunch. We heard a girl scream. Catherine Bailovec and her family were traveling on their way home from the state fair when she saw the crash on West National Avenue. She says she then pulled over and jumped into action. It was horrible. It was horrible. I was shaking. I had my three grandkids in the car and I was thinking about it. Had it been two seconds, he would have hit us. According to police, the driver of the truck ran from the scene while leaving his passenger, who Bailovic's son, Thomas Parv Slauson, tried to assist. The officer involved in the crash was also injured, and so was a woman walking on the sidewalk. She was hit as the truck rolled over. Parv Slauson lives in Illinois, but join me on Skype to describe the moment the two cars collided. We were so close. You could hear it and you could even feel the impact. That feeling prompted Parp Slauson, a former U.S. Marine, to act and pull the passenger out of the truck to safety. He says this scary event was a learning moment for his three kids who watched from the car. This is the reality of what can happen and you always need to be aware of, of your surrounding, you know, situational awareness, which you learn in the military and I'd love to teach them as they're getting older. Now, police later caught that driver just a few blocks down from where the scene happened. He's since been arrested on suspicion of operating while intoxicated and also hit and run. Reporting in West Allis, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4.